What's going on YouTube? It's time to renovate the screen print shop and renovate this whole basement and make it look like a whole shop. We're actually building a wall right here. It's not gonna make sense me talking, so instead of talking in this video, we're just gonna get to it and start production. All right, step one, we gotta move the press. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna do it. We don't know how exactly we'll move it. Let's just jump into it. All right, we gotta move this thing. This is going to be the new home of the press. Instead of being over there, it'll be right here. So it already looks so much better. We took all the inks out. These were on shelves. These shelves we took out. This was a nightmare. <laughs> There's a lot of aftermath that went happen. Screws just got stuck. Everything was just a mess. But no grind of glory. All right, let them know. Hey YouTube, it's me again. I'm here to explain what we're doing. So we just framed what we're gonna do for the new wall. We got it tight on there. Just now what you're seeing is two two by four stacked up and then touching the top. We're gonna take that big piece right there. We're gonna frame it. And then we're gonna put two more individual two by fours going in the middle so we could drywall it. And that's pretty much how we're gonna build our wall today. All right, YouTube, we finally got the foundation and framing all done. It's a mess right now, but we finally got this done. We actually just ended up making it an official wall with a whole bunch of support beams and all. As you can see here, there's support beams going down. We left this open in case we wanted to make it a door in the future, but this is all here. Everything is strong. I can stand on it. Nothing's happening. So now it's time to drywall. We got the two bottom pieces on. We're gonna do the same thing for the top. We're just gonna be two extra pieces for the top, which is four total pieces. We just measured out the top piece. We're gonna throw it on. Let's hope it fits. My brother's gonna help me. Man. Fits like a glove. It definitely fits like a glove. We're gonna go ahead and get this screwed on and then do the last piece. Piece of the puzzle, fingers crossed we cut it right the first time. Or oh. as you can see it fit perfectly. Let's drill this in. got it up everything looks good turned out well everything is smooth only issue is here it's, it's 
sticking out a little bit and I'll tell you why on the other side. All right, now on the other side, everything looks good, but these support beams, there's an open spot here for a door in case my family wanted to make it a door in the future. When I move out, they can make this a door or just rip this out. So the drywall is held with these studs on the other side, which makes it flush. But the only issue is on this side, it's open. So there's a lot of slack going on. And the only thing I can think of to fix that is adding a support beam right here and then drilling the drywall into this so that everything is supported and it's flush and it isn't sticking out like this. And then in the future, if we did wanna make this a door, we just take these screws out, rip this support beam out and we'll be good to go. So let's add this beam. All right, you guys, I got it lined up. I got the pre-drilled holes in there so that it doesn't crack. Now let's send it through. Let's go drill it from the other side and let's get rid of the slack. We're gonna drill that through because there's a stud on the other side now. So I'm just gonna send this through here. It's flush, everything is good, nothing's moving, perfect. And here's the final look on the behind where the studs are, everything looks good. This is definitely a well-supported wall. This wall is not going anywhere. It's as strong as can be. There's a lot of support beams. And now the middle, it was a lot of slack going on there, but now with that support beam, everything is good. I'm happy with this. Now I just got to move. I just got to drywall this. All right, YouTube. It's been a couple days. It's been a busy week. I had to print. As you can see, print press is not here. Just finished mudding again. I put another coat. Ripped off the tape because that was not working. But this looks good. But I want to take you guys along with me and remodeling this whole basement shop. So check this out. This is where the press is. All right, now you guys are gonna come along with me through this whole renovation process. Check this out. This is the home of the press now. I love how it looks here. Conveyor dryer over there, a little bit this way. Shelves are gone, racks are gone. Table stays there. This is the other side of the wall. This still needs to be drywalled. My dad went ahead and hooked up the outlets. So I have two extra outlets on each side of the wall. And yeah. All right, now we got all the inks laid out right now, just messy right here. We're gonna go ahead and put those same exact shelves that you saw on the other ink wall. We're gonna move it here so that it's right next to the press and this whole ink wall will just be dedicated to just inks. So let's start working on that. Damn. All right, y'all, I just finished up sanding. The last thing that I wanted to do from the first coat, I don't even know how to really bring you guys along with me. I don't even know what you guys wanted to see or record, but I'm trying to get through it, showing you everything. Like I said, I'm just going to take you guys along with me through the whole renovation, showing you guys the whole base. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Hmm. I'm actually going to have to apply another coat on here just to make it perfect. Just a skin coat of mud and then re-sand it and then go to paint. But we still got to do the other side too. So there's just so much to do. 
I'm gonna get to it. All right, y'all, I got the second coat of my plaster on there, mud, whatever it's called. Um, once that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and sand that. This wall should be done. It should be ready to paint after we clean it up, prime it. And yeah, I'm a mess. Let's get back to it. Come on, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting these woods. I see it's been a while and I haven't recorded. I mean, Ricky actually had the idea to add these little rivets on here. And so we had to grind that up, but that looks fire. These are for the ink shelves, like I said, but we're gonna spray paint them black with gloss black paint. It's just easier and looks better and glossy. I like the glossy shine to it. I was at Walmart and had an idea and I saw glow in the dark ink. I've always wanted to try this. I mean, imagine glow in the dark shelves with the ink. Oh man. So I'm doing a test on this piece right here. We're gonna see how this turns out. Let's hope it's coming out like I imagined. Well, I spray painted it with the uh, glow in the dark ink. While that dries, I might as well come and sand this because it's not gonna do itself. So why not do a time lapse and bring y'all along? It's Saturday night, kids, you know. But let's do this. See my eyes are a little blurry and red but everything is sanded this looks like finesse like it looks like one piece i'm glad i put in the work to do this but i'm a mess let me give you guys a close-up these eyes all right youtube i don't know what day it is now but we got everything all sorted out everything is ready i got the club holes craig system holes ready to be put into the studs. Now it's basically paint ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. The glow in the dark didn't work too well. It was just, it's not that glowy and it has to be pitch dark for it to even show. So I'm just gonna stick to this, make it black, put on it clear. Let's go. All right, y'all, just got it painted. It looks clean. We're gonna see how this dries and then we'll move forward. All right. It's been a few hours. The small ones are right here. These turn out great. I put the gloss, as you can see, it's glossy and looks great. Now I'm doing the big ones. I had to go get more paint, but these look good as well. Can't wait to finish these and get them up. All right, YouTube. We just got these up. Ricky roasted me about the spray paint. Just a lot of it, you know? So we... He ended up, we both ended up rolling it instead. Turned out better. But we just put these shelves up. We want to make the wall black so it'll look all black. But this is how the shelves look. This is where the ink's going to go. Dude, that looks crazy. I just got done putting on the first and second coat. Here's how the wall looks. And then with the black shelves, it'll just be a black on black theme. And then all you'll see is the different colored inks. So it'll definitely be nice. I'm thinking of putting another coat on just in case, but here's how it looks.
everybody finally got the shelves up and the inks up and here's how we're looking this looks amazing there's still gonna be a table at the bottom but these shelves when we first put them up me and ricky um they, they were loose they were just not on there tight then my brother actually came and finesse he came tighten them up he go to them he fixed it it's all good we fixed the stud in the back it wasn't in the stud in the back but then we just had to he just had to tighten some of the up he tightened them up we got it done shout out to him um he finessed it or else we were gonna put some L brackets, but my brother tightened it and got it to work so we could just have it floating like it is. Black on black, looks amazing. But I got some paint, I got some red paint. So let's go to the other room and start painting. All right, now that I'm here, you remember this room, painted this black. I wanna make this wall a different color. I got a red paint, so let's see how it goes. I don't know how the red will look. It might look funky, it might look too bright, it might look too dark, I don't know, but um, version i'm itching to try it and you never know till you try it so whatever we're just gonna try it first let me clear all this up get that out and then we'll start painting all right everybody i didn't end up painting this because i had to pat some holes and get rid of the squeegee holder and spatula holders and everything but i did start painting the black again i do have to do that wall one more time but i did the ceiling not the ceiling but it gives it like a cave look first coat and I'm loving how it looks, honestly. I mean, people might think I'm crazy with the black, but I just love the color black. My room is black. I love black. I think it'll work out good. I'm still iffy on the red on this side, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to finish this up. Just want to give you guys a sneak peek. Well, as you can see, it got definitely got darker in here. I don't know if I'm a biggest fan yet. Uh, I gotta know when the second coat goes on. This paint is just so watery that it barely even sucks onto the wall. That's why you can see all these lines. It just did not paint that well. I don't know if that's just the first coat. Let's just see how the second coat goes. Let's hope it's better. Just did another coat and it definitely looks a lot better. I think a third coat is gonna finish it off and make it look fantastic i'm out of this black paint it's like nine o'clock at night lows closes at 10 i'm gonna go get this because i want to paint this and get this done because this project has taken forever and i want it to finish so i'm gonna go get that paint and then start doing this finish this and we'll see how it goes all right youtube there you have it it's been about three coats and as you can see that is looking a lot better than where we started everything turned out great that red actually looks good i'm actually falling in love with it i like how it looks looks good i added another coat to this black wall i mean this has been like four coats but i'm still not happy with it i think i'm gonna have to end up sanding again because i see these scratches I don't like it. I think this is from the filling and mudding that we did. I mean, but I think I'm going to have to redo that again. This wall is definitely the death of me, but it's fine. No grind of glory, but everything is painted and looks good. This red wall is definitely done. I'm definitely happy with how that looks. This black wall definitely needs to be worked on, but it's like midnight now. I'm tired, I'm gassed, I would definitely paint more, but I gotta get some rest. Um, I'm gonna clock out for the day, it's been an all day thing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Now you guys will know why I took a break. I didn't take a break from YouTube, but now you know why my uploads slowly went down. This is why, because I've been working on all of this renovation. It's a long process and it's tiring, and I'm still documenting it for you guys as well. But I'll see you in the morning.
All right, YouTube, check out what we just painted. Shout out to my mom. She helped me out with this project, and it turned out fantastic. This is the same burgundy and black that we painted in the lounge room. And as you can see, I just free-for-alled on, free on the design, put tape up and everything. Like, I'm in love with this. It looks fantastic. I love how it came out. The vision was there. The idea was there. The reality just blew me away honestly but now we got i got all this mess like it's a shit show down here and we need to get this fixed up so let's begin let's finish renovating the home base business so let's go what's going on everybody for you guys it's only been a second but for me and recording this video it's been a couple days i mean this this whole video's taken about a couple weeks at least this project is huge, but as you can see, there's a huge difference behind me. These walls, painted them, designed them, just put tape on them, painted them with the burgundy and the black. My mom helped me out. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, mom. We grinded this thing out and finished it. This area is almost done. I mean, the basement is almost done except for that area, but this production room is basically almost done. Let me show you guys what we did. All right, now, as you can see, this wall is still not done. We're still working on that. I still got to get drywall for that. This stayed the same, but the biggest difference is the design on this wall. And I'm absolutely in love. The desk almost just needs to be tidied up, cleaned up, organized. Still working on that, but it's a good progress. But this design, I love how it turned out. Turned out absolutely amazing. What I ended up doing is putting this extra piece right here, making the desk bigger. What else did I do? Oh, I built this big old table. This is, ignore this, it's gonna be a finishing, but this is, look at that, my logo. But this is where everything gets checked in, folded, everything. This is where orders will be going now. Added this floating shelf right here, ink mixing station or whatever. So as you can see, a lot was done, um, but this area is still the biggest mess. Just looking at this is just a lot to do. This needs to be get out of here. This room just looks, honestly, this room was the main attraction at first until we did the painted design. Now this just looks boring. So I got to figure out something to do here. So yes, there is a lot of progress being made such as this drastic change. This literally made the shop 100% better. Wait till the end where I do a whole video shoot for this a tour. It's going to be amazing. But there's still a lot of things to do. It's like that lounge area and that room is just a mess. But at least the production area is all ready to go. Almost done. I could at least start producing items. A lot of you guys have been reaching out to me. And I've just been so ghosted on all social media, YouTube. Because I've just been down here grinding. Remember, it's just me down here doing all these things. I do have some help. But most of the time, it's just me down here finishing everything up. But, hey, it's going to be worth it. Um, I'm putting a lot of hard work and love into this shop. But it's going to be worth it. Speaking of, I've been so behind on orders that I need it. Today, I'm doing orders. I need to catch up on orders. And then I'll work on this a little bit more as well. But for now, I'm going to go catch up on orders. I'll see you guys in the next shot. All right, you guys, I was in the middle of printing and this flash drive started acting up on me again. As you know, I got, I went and got this flash drive off the marketplace. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out right here. The flash drive is amazing. It lasted me about four or five years. This one just happened to give me an issue, but I slowed down, thought it through, opened it up, moved some wires around. Now it's working. I don't know what I would have done if that thing wasn't working. I need to just start a daily vlog of like a day in the life of print shop or like entrepreneur or something because that's basically what i'm doing right now i mean let me know if you guys would be interested in that let me know oh what's going on everybody i'm just coming in here giving you guys an update it's been a couple days but finally getting to this wall i got the drywall went ahead and got it insulated since the wow it's so dusty i'm so itchy from all this but I went ahead and got it insulated. Hopefully this will solve uh, problems with noise and everything. It's just good to have it insulated because why not? So now it's time to put on the drywall. I'm going to go put on the drywall. So let's go. 
And there it is. This video is getting a little long, so I'm going to end it here. But there it is. A lot of the things are done. It's just last minute organization that still needs to be done and just small other tasks. But I'm not going to take you guys along that whole process. I documented enough for you guys. You guys saw me doing all this. Um, now, this wall still isn't done. As you see, this was the one with the insulation. The same wall that we built. Drywall. They just need to paint it. Um, mud it up. I don't know if I'm doing that yet, though. I'm trying to figure out some other things to do with this wall. But this is where the embroidery machine will be. So, soon. Other than that, here's how the shop is looking. Over there, I'm editing the video right now. And I just wanted to come in here and explain things to you guys so this is what the production room looks like as you can see not too bad and it looks great that wall i love it let me know what you guys think Sheet. now do you guys remember this room this room was actually where everything took place a lot of the videos were here screen print press here my poster here the triangle was over there now it's just the total lounge room everything isn't done it's still messy but this is what it's looking like let me show you guys this stuff. Check this out. Got some couches. Made this brick and this brick wall. This was the black wall that was giving us so much trouble. And then with the red, looks great. Here's some more shots of this with the couch. Everything isn't finished, but this is how this room looks. Now my screen station still looks pretty much the same. I'll figure something out for this, but this is pretty much the same. Hey everybody, that's just the main things that did go down. This was a long project. I think it's about almost two months worth of work that this project took. It's still not done. It was just a bunch of work. And that is why I was a little bit behind on YouTube and I wasn't as active. But now, you best believe we're going to go ballistic on YouTube. With all this, everything is ready. This, this, this room, this basement is production ready. We're going to go crazy with videos. There's going to be a lot of videos coming up. The screen drying cabinet, that's coming up for sure now. Now that this is all done, it's time to cook that video up. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far, shout out to you. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm just documenting my journey, bringing you guys along with me, growing my screen print shop. Now, this is just pure motivation and inspiration for me, myself, and I, because, man, when I started, this is not what I had. I started with that cheap eBay press. I came a long way. I'm just proud of myself. It, 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 it fills me with happiness to do all this for myself and grow this business, and I know you guys can, too. I'm going to put some pictures up here from when I started and just take a look at that, and now we're here, and I appreciate you guys for coming along the journey with me. No grind of glory, and I'll see you in the next one.